74 joins Sierra Juliet, hold short of. So right now we're doing the runway inspection. We're looking at any type of debris, uh, metal, any types of bolts, screws, even plastic. John Ryan is responsible for foreign object debris collection. I'm helping him scour every inch of Atlantis tarmac. This runway safety inspection involves looking for any pieces of debris that might have fallen onto the ground from a plane or airport vehicle. Sounds straightforward enough, but there's just a 45 second window between landings to check an entire runway. And we're being chased by a 65 ton passenger plane. When you're taking that long way, I think, at some speed, and only just got off in time for another plane to come into land. And this is the quiet period. This is the quiet period, yeah. John's looking out for even the tiniest objects that might have been left behind. A screw. Oh, really? Gee, it's a nut. Not. So that's yeah. probably off a of bag cart. Oh, okay. It's uh, quite warped, isn't it? Yeah. Is that dangerous? Yeah, that's definitely a, a dangerous idea. Yeah. So you're driving along at 30 miles an hour? Correct. And that's, it, that's enough to spot things like tiny bits of metal? Correct. Yeah. You've got skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of metal on the runway, how much of an of a impact could that have? It could have a catastrophic effect. Even fragments as small as this have the potential to wreak havoc. They could puncture a tire or be flicked up and turned into a projectile, damaging an aircraft's fuselage. Sucked into an engine, a fragment could hit fan blades spinning at 10,000 revolutions a minute, causing serious damage. As a passenger, when you're coming into land, it just doesn't occur to you that there's a team of people like you looking out for things as small as this Correct. that could have that dramatic an impact I as know. to have a catastrophic failure for the, for the plane. Yep, it's not just that airplane or a piece of metal, it's hundreds of lives that are at stake. So we, you know, we are at you know, the highest level of perception uh, for any type of debris out there.